Hey, Steve Zucker. Welcome back to Pope Sue Channel. Hey, just doing a quick little morning video here before I get going with my day using the, the uh, LH350, actually a new one. This one is available for sale too. It's got some beautiful flame on the back here, some really cool looking flame and some interesting kind of U, U shaped figure here in the back, the way it kind of goes like this and just keeps patterning up. I've noticed the ones that have some figures seem to sound the best. It's really not a lot of guitar for the $9.99 is retail. I sell them for $7.49. This is, this is a good one, believe me. I'm not sure if you can see the the back very good on, on this camera angle, but uh, it's a really beautiful guitar. I'm, I'm using a solid state amp here, by the way, so nothing nothing fancy. I paid 150 for the amp. The guitar ladder system is really, really works. I mean, it's a, it's a result of me studying with Joe Pass and Ted Green and uh, Horace Hatchett, who taught Howard Roberts how to play. And uh, I've got 40 years of research into this system. There's nothing like it on the planet. It really works. It really wakes up your musical mind. But anyway, let, let's get to today's free lesson. So to, I want, to, and I get into this extensively in the guitar ladder course. But I want to talk about polychords and uh, you know. The reason I have this camera angle, I'm not worried about showing me, I'm just trying to show the guitar and show, you know, the, the chord forms. I really get into the 10 systems of improvisation extensively in the Guitar Ladder course, and, you know, it's the best $2.99 you'll ever spend. If you really want to take, it's not, it's not BS, if you really want to take a quantum leap in your guitar playing and writing and just wake up your musical mind, buy the course. I'll keep you busy for a couple of years really well. But I've made the membership a three-year membership, so you don't have to worry about stressing about getting through it quick. And that's why I did that. Okay, so anyway, I want to talk about polychords. Polychords is a really interesting thing to begin to work with. And, uh, and again, just to reemphasize, my, my course is not a jazz guitar course. It's a total guitar course. It will wake, wake up your musical mind. doesn't matter if you like blues or, you know, you're into fusion or you're, it doesn't really a flamenco or a acoustic guitar or, you know, rock, blues, metal, whatever. It's just going to make you a better guitar player and help you... Uh, hear your own musical thoughts on a deeper level. It's almost like meditation for, for, for people that, that love guitar. It just gives you, it, it, it feeds your subconscious mind all the pieces of the puzzle that helps you get your musical tool chest together. It's, I'm not kidding you. I've seen unbelievable results with my students and it's hard to hold back my enthusiasm because the results that I've seen have just been so incredible. But polychords, okay, here's a G major 7. Polychord is a harmony chord. So you take this G major 7, we'll, we'll call it a 1 chord in G, and you go up a scale tone third. Now a scale tone third can be a minor third, which is of course one and a, you know one or you know one and a half steps, or it could be a major third depending on what tone of the scale you start. So with a with this chord, you go up a scale tone third from each note. So G major seven, then you go up a scale tone third from the F sharp in the key of G, you get A. Scale tone third from B, you end up on D. Scale tone third from D, you end up on F sharp. So the, the poly chord or harmony chord for the major seven is the B minor seven. And when I used to take from Horace Hatchett, who like I mentioned before, studied with, uh, taught Howard Roberts how to play when Howard Roberts was a young man, lived in Arizona. Uh, I studied with Horace Hatchett. We used to always do this. I'd play a chord and he'd play the poly chord and the other way around. And it was it's, it's really good ear training and it's great for your improvisational skills. So one of the things you might want to do, I may not be tuned to concert pitch. I, this is my A. I tune to just kind of tune where my ear feels like tuning to unless I'm doing a recording session or something. Then, you know, I go to 440. But this is my A for right now. So if you want to tune to this A, the way to work this is play the G major 7, and then record yourself playing that on anything, a phone or any recorder you have, and then play the notes of the, of the B minor 7 one at a time, So and then play it over that. So you're going to be doing this, and then as you record yourself doing that G major 7 chord, and then play this, play the tones of this over it. And listen to that harmony. It's, it's really, it really sounds cool. And then maybe take that chord up a half step to G sharp, and then bring this one up to C. What I do with my students is I'll have them play. We'll play polychords like this. They'll do this chord, okay? While, while I'm doing this chord, and then I'll say, okay, move a minor third. So they'll go from G 
to like say A sharp and I'll play like this, you know? And then I'll go, okay, come down a half step or go up a major third or whatever. It's really a great thing to do. And, you know, great players out there. Again, my guitar ladder system is not genre specific. It's kind of like at one point Bruce Lee just said, hey, it's all martial arts. And Bruce Lee studied all the different forms uh, of martial arts to become one of the best, uh, you know, martial artists ever in the world. Uh, so it's kind of the same thing. The guitar ladder program will just, will just really accelerate your musical growth. And, and it all happens naturally. That's what's a really cool thing about it. Like even cycle one, you know, you automatically see smooth voice leading and you, you start learning chord connection principles. Uh, it just happens, you know, very naturally and, and you absorb the information without having to get, you know, hung up in the intellect and a bunch of really involved theoretical discussions. I do do some theory, absolutely, but I really have trimmed the theory down to what you need as opposed to what's just going to be busy work or just going to confuse you. And that's what's so cool about the system because I've had, I've had students who had really no, no musical talent at all that started going through my cycles and uh, just really dedicated themselves to it and just, you know, put their ego on the back burner. And the musical growth that they made was just incredible. It really was. I, I, I'm not bullshitting about this. So anyway, so work on the polychords, like I said, and you can pick, like let's just say we're sticking with the key of G. You can, you can pick any chord you want. You could start with, you know, um, an A minor 7 then go up a scale tone third from that. But I think for now, I, I got to make this these videos a little shorter so they download quick. Just start with the G major 7. You know, you go up a scale tone third of each note of the G major 7 which is the G, the F sharp, the B, and the D, and that gives you that gives you a B minor seven. So start understanding the concept on a simple level and you can always expand it later. But like I said, play this one note at a time. Play that one note at a time, okay? And then record yourself doing that and then play the B minor seven over that, okay? And that's, that's there's I teach 10 different systems of improvisation, you know, chromatic, diatonic, symmetry, uh, intervallic, you know, poly, polychords, uh, chromatic, I'm probably going to forget a few of them right now, you know, diatonic, secondary dominant, flat five subs, all that stuff. But what's so cool is all this stuff is inside of my, uh, you know, my guitar ladder system. So you automatically learn about contrary motion and substitutions. It just you, you learn it within the chord cycles. I also have single note studies too in the guitar ladder program. This is one of them here. I haven't played it all today. This is a monster riff, so I'm not warmed up at all. But you can just see what it was. But I get into that as well. So anyway, I'm going to stop right there and I uh, appreciate you tuning in. If you, if you ever want to contribute to Poke 2 channel, $5, $10, $20 would really be appreciated because I put a lot of time into this. It's very time consuming. I offer a lot of free information and uh, I appreciate people that have bought guitars from me. But if you ever want to donate, uh, it's good karma for you. I'll come back to you tenfold. You just, uh, just PayPal to Steve Zook, the number seven at yahoo.com or I can send you an invoice. All right. This is one of my cycles too, one of my favorite cycles. And I, I actually change it almost every time I play it, which is the whole point. You develop, you develop improvisational skills. You learn, you learn some of my chord cycles, and then you start just kind of improvising. But again, this is not a jazz. I mean, it, it gets you deep into jazz. But I don't really believe in genres anyway. It's all just, you know, musical improvisation. But if you get deep into chordal work and my chord cycles and you, and you begin to absorb this information, you are going to be able to play anything that you want. Um, I'm pretty versatile myself. I, I uh, recently went to the studio with Mr. Darren Vegas, who used to be a top producer with uh, Death Row Records. He's worked with, with Snoop. And, just, and he's worked with everybody. He even does, you know, stuff besides hip-hop, which is why we work together. I was amazed at his musicianship. He played keyboard on one of my tunes. I, I went in with a telly and a couple other guitars and a bass. But uh, 
the, the, the point just being, if you really want to accelerate your musicianship, you just can't sit around every day and play, play the same stuff. Uh, you have to keep uh, exposing your musical ear to new tension and resolution. Okay, all right, I better stop. This guitar is available. This is one's a beauty. And this, this guitar will get a sound like a, like a guitar you could pay thousands for because it's got a solid carved top, violin voice top. This is $9.99. I sell it for 25% off MAP, which is $7.49. And it's not worth it to go out there and shop price for a little bit less because it might not be new. It might not have a warranty. They may tell you it is. And when it doesn't, it's just not worth it. It's better to, to buy from a trustworthy dealer like me. I've actually been with the Music Link longer than any other dealer. I'm even on their site doing a demo of the 350, two of them actually, if you go to thelore.com and hit what's new, scroll down, they're using one of my demos on, on their site. That's the company that makes this, the Lore, their sister site, their other site, themusiclink.net. And if you scroll down, another seven or eight videos I'm doing, they have another one of my videos on the 350 they're using where I just improvise, which is the one on my YouTube. So I'm really tight with the company. I've been with them longer than any other dealer. Uh, we have a great relationship. I really get great guitars from them, but this, this one's really a sweetie. Uh, I'm gonna miss this one when somebody buys it, but. All right, if you want to call me, 714-548-0385. And seriously, I want to thank everybody so much who, who uh, have purchased guitars from me. I really appreciate that. And I, a little bit of all the guitars that I sell goes to donate to uh, healthright.org. And I help people all over the world um, get medical care. I help mothers keep their babies. Um, help people in little villages that really have it rough get some medical care. And it's, uh, it's real good karma all the way around. So, all right, take care. Bye-bye. And if you want to order the guitar ladder system, you can go to stevezookguitars.com, look for the blue cover, the guitar ladder blue cover, and right there by the video, there's a PayPal button, and you, and you can buy it. It's $4.99. It's on sale for $2.99. Seriously, don't even, don't even uh, overthink it because you're going to get so much out of it. It'll keep you busy for a couple years, and your playing is going to reach a level that will, that will blow your mind. It takes a little bit of work. It's not an overnight fix, but you're, you're really, it's going to greatly accelerate your progress. All right, take care.